to Jack entering the NDIS, we had never used paid supports in Jack's life before. Um, we relied heavily on um, just natural supports, family and friends uh, to you know, help Jack achieve his goals of a good life. We decided to uh, directly employ people uh, to be Jack's supports. Uh, we were looking for a sports coach. Uh, Jack uh, does a lot of uh, different types of sports in the community, but often he would find it difficult to you know, keep up with other kids. So we wanted that coach to sort of be helping him skill up. So I found about this job um, from a friend who saw an advertisement in, at, uh, at the Catholic University of Australia. So yeah, he, he thought it was going to be a good job for him, but uh, he felt a little bit unsure about it. And, and he thought that because I was studying uh, exercise physiology degree at the UC, he thought it might be a good opportunity for me and, and the best option for, for Jack at this moment. So yeah, that's basically how I found out about this job. Um, so as well, one of our objectives is to, um, J Jack's family wants Jack to, to be more involved in the community with his peers and and his touch footy mates and schoolmates as well to, to be more involved with them uh, in terms of sport, uh, recreation and just normal play like all the other kids and and what we want is to build up that confidence that he can do everything else that all the other kids can. So planning for the NDIS planning conversation, uh, we did a lot of thinking around our vision for Jack as this was our compass to help us make decisions along the way. Uh, we, we spent a lot of time with family and friends in thinking about how we can achieve the certain goals that we were aiming for for Jack and a lot of those were um, revolving around sport. I also take Jack to jiu-jitsu classes and uh, at the beginning uh, he wasn't doing jiu-jitsu but he did jiu-jitsu a few months before I started working with Jack but now that he's, he is with me and, and, and his parents are not taking Jack to jiu-jitsu uh, he feels that he's more free to, to play that particular sport. Um, so what I do is I take him to the classes and I um, support him. I just, you know, Jack is pretty independent um, when, when he's doing the sport and he listens to the coach and that's everything the coach asks him to do. But whenever there's something that he feels that he can't do or feels a little bit unsure about it, I just pop up and say, Jack, you know, um, I've seen you do this before, I, I know you can do this, uh, you, you're great at this and you know he just gets back into it and he enjoys the sport and yeah so uh, actually a few weeks ago he got a new ribbon in the belt so that means he's a bit closer to the next belt so we're really happy about that and yeah it's great seeing Jack improve. So that's my role as Jack's sports coach.